finally the wait is over as AMD has announced their new Ryzen 5000 series and 3 base CPUs and yes they are beast. So yes guys this is a geek out everything and in this video I'm gonna talk about the Ryzen 5000 series CPUs and I'll be also comparing it with the 10900K. So yeah stay tuned and uh, if you end up liking the video hit the like button. So now let's just start. So the new Zen 3 processors are 7 nanometer based and they have new core layout and higher max boost. So if we talk about the IPC then they are 19% higher in terms of instructions per clock it's going to be result in better performance. Then talking about the core layout as you can see the Zen 3 has new single unified complex that means now all the cores can now directly communicate with 32 MB of L3 cache uh, which going to be result in low latency and Actually latency matters a lot for gaming so they are going to be really good in terms of gaming performance and even in uh, power efficiency as you can see it's 2.8 times uh, better in terms of, uh, of efficiency as compared to the 10900K and AMD also said they are already working on Zen 4 uh, 5 nanometer based processors so that will be really great. So the new Ryzen 9 5900X is going to be having 12 cores, 24 threads and up to 4.8 GHz of boost clock and 70 MB of L2 plus L3 cache and 105 Watt of TDP. And if you compare the TDP with 10900K then I think uh, 10900K has 120 Watt of TDP. So that means it is more efficient and it has better performance along with that. So let's just look at some of the benchmarks. So here's a little comparison between the Ryzen 9 3900 XT and the Ryzen 5900X and it is 28% faster in share of the Tomb Raider as compared to the 3900 XT and with just a CPU change it's actually a really big difference to be honest and if we just look at the head to head comparison between the 10900K and 5900X then 5900X beat the 10900K with score of 90 and it's actually a lot so it's not just uh, faster it's it's really fast <laughs> so yeah and now if you look at uh, some more uh, AAA titles then as you can see it's fast in uh, almost all the AAA titles like League of Legends we have uh, Dota 2 we have Battlefield 5 it's actually same we can say that it's same in terms of uh, performance in Battlefield 5 and even in CSGO as you can see it's 19% faster and Intel had their lead in uh, CSGO since so many years and uh, and 5900X it's 19% faster and uh, it is a really big difference to be honest. And now talking about the 5800X it's gonna be 8 core 16 thread CPU with boost clock of 4.7 GHz and 5600X is gonna be 6 core CPU with 4.6 GHz of boost clock and if you talk about the pricing then I think the pricing is good because if you just go to buy a 10900K now it's gonna be selling for around $530 or even, even $540 so considering the performance I think the pricing is good and uh, the availability is uh, November 5 so all of these processes are gonna be available on November 5. So now let's just talk about their top of the line 5950X and it's gonna be 16 core processors with 32 threads and 4.9 GHz of boost clock. It didn't touch uh, 5 GHz. It has 72 MB of L2 plus L3 cache with 105 Watt of TDP. So the TDP is actually same for the 5900X and even for uh, 5800X and if you just compare some of the benchmarks with 3900X and as you can see it's 5% uh, faster in terms of Premiere Pro and uh, even in gaming it's up to 29% faster so yeah it's a really big uh, difference in terms of performance and as you can see the pricing is gonna be uh, $800 I don't know how much it's gonna worth it let's just wait for the reviews and uh, availability is same as you can see it's uh, gonna be available on November 5 so the all the CPUs from the 5000 series are gonna be available on November 5 they also gave little sneak peek of their new 5000 series Radeon GPUs where they ran Borderlands 3 at 4k resolution so if you look at uh, the benchmarks then as you can see in Borderlands 3 it's 61 FPS in Modern Warfare it's 88 and in Gear 5 it's 73. So yeah that's about the GPUs uh, they are also going to be announced really soon. 
So comparing the 5950X with 10900K in terms of content creation, as you can see it's 13% faster in terms of Premiere Pro rendering and up to 59% faster in terms of V-Ray 4.1 and in terms of CAD workload also it's 6% faster. So yeah, and in terms of gaming performance also, it's actually faster in terms of all AAA titles and not only 5950X but 5900X also has outperformed the 10900K. So even 5900X is better in terms of gaming than 10900K. So I think it's a pretty great time to be honest to build a PC and I think um, all of the people who were about to build the PC, they were waiting for the Ryzen 5000 series and now it's announced. So I think it's a pretty great time uh, to plan your build as the uh, this 5000 series is gonna be available on November 5. So yeah. So guys, that's for this video now. And if you just simply like this video, hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. That'll be really helpful. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.